I'm Alex, and welcome to my European Slaycation, where we will be slaying across Europe for 22 days to experience six countries, visit 16 different European parks, and ride 123 different roller coasters. It's going to be such an epic journey, and I'm so excited to share it with you. Good morning, girl boss besties. Today, we are at Wallaby, Belgium. This morning, we had a one and a half hour drive from our hotel in France. We are now in Belgium. Oh, 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 oh. Finally, be here. <laughs> and we're in. I actually did not know that there's an on-ramp filming policy here that allows chest mounted GoPros. Um, I reached out to the park ahead of time, but I never heard back. So I was just like, oh, well, I guess I won't be able to get on-ramp footage. But I just went into the little info center over here and asked, and they said chest mounted GoPros are a okay. We love sensible on-ramp filming policies. Thank you. But anyway, we're in the park now. It is another. Um, <laughs> European weather day. It is cold and cloudy. It's 67 degrees or 64 degrees even. It feels chillier than like a typical 64 degrees as well. It's, it's 64. Yeah. I'm like freezing. Agreed. Like, guys, it's too. July 31st. <laughs> what is this? Oh, and we're gonna snack some coffee too. Oh my gosh, look at the latte macchiato deluxe. It's got a little wall of EW on it. That's so cute. I'm about to dump hella sugar in here. <laughs> Yeah. Bye. So we got some coffee and look at what this is. It has a little W from oh. the wallaby. Oh my god. It. Wait, that was oh so god. much. Oh my gosh. Oh no. It's going on over here. I think here. I went a little too silly with <laughs> the sugar. Silly. That was a lot. She's like literally mortified. Oh, that's right there. Yeah, now I have 40 grams of sugar in my coffee. Oh no, it's me. No. Oh my god. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Of course it is. <laughs> oh god! That happened so suddenly. <laughs> it was not raining. You're up. I hate you. <laughs> right before we ordered our so coffee. Over yeah. I'm over this weather. I love the continent, but I hate this weather. We were a little concerned just a moment ago because condos showed closed. It was temporarily closed. We got some high winds like in the forecast today. And so we're like, oh, are we gonna be able to ride it? But condo just opened with a five minute wait. So we're heading over there now. Yes! There it is. There's condo through the trees and the swinging human beings. Oh, this wagon ride looks silly. They just like swing out in the air. And also there's Pulsar, one of those water splash down swing launch coasters like Aquaman Power Wave at Six Flags Over Texas. So we will be riding that today. It's really funny that I'll be riding that ride model here in Belgium before I'll ride the one in Texas. Oh, we got a top spin. Let's go. No, so I feel less um, excited to ride this one here because the one at Wallaby Holland was, uh, she wiggled a lot, <laughs> like side to side, did not feel very sturdy. So I honestly, I'm okay passing on the one here. Dalton Terror? Wait, why is Dalton so scary? What the? That's such a strange name for a drop tower. Wait, oh, this ride looks fun. Look at this thing. Woo! This looks like a silly wild mouse. Is this Gerslauer? Mm -hmm. Wow! I love the look of it. Ikiwaka. Anytime there's a, a roller coaster with blue on it, Alex. Wow! I love the look of it. Okay, but this layout looks really fun though. Like, look at this little woo woo moment. Whoa! Okay, the Conda area is certainly most not giving Six Flags. This is giving like very well put together. Whoa! This looks sick. What? This is awesome. Wait, I'm going across. This is so cool. Here we go. Whee! Oh, and they have fish in here. They've got goldfish. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. What a neat little addition. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, it climbs up that lift so fast. Literally zooming. Excited, 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 excited. Back row, back row blowout. Yes, let's go. Oh, cool. I love how the coaster reveals out from its fence here as you walk through the queue line. This is sick. In Europe, people go crazy with writing stuff on walls here. Like, I feel like we don't really see this a whole lot in the US, honestly, but here it's been like a constant thing, pee pee. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna write condo. Ooh. This is cool. What a beautiful art. Is that an egg? It's an egg. And oh, so people scratched wieners onto them. Oh my god, so goofy. Ooh. Oh, this station's really cool. Yeah, this is sweet. 
This station is giving. Oh, oh we're here. We go. We're on. Here we go. Conda time. I like the dispatch music. Yay! Woo! Here we go. You ready? Yeah. If you guys haven't already, that'd be a great time to like the video. Oh my god. Like comfortable. Did you have fun? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> oh, interrupting the vlog really quickly to let you guys know that I have a Patreon, which I like to call the Slatreon. On the Slatreon, you can join for as little as three dollars a month to get early access and bonus content. The higher tiers have some really cool rewards like physical gifts, which the first round of my Slay packages just shipped out. If you're a part of the Epic Slay tier and above, after three months of consecutive membership, you will receive one of these Slay packages. These Slay packages contain a really cool magnet, two super fun stickers, and a t-shirt. All this merch is completely exclusive to the Slaytreon. I have no plans to sell this in a store anywhere. This can only be obtained via Patreon. And good news, we're currently doing a giveaway in celebration of this first Slay package. One lucky Slaytreon of any paid tier will be eligible to win. All you have to do is just be subscribed to the Slaytreon. There are more details on the Slaytreon and the winner will be announced via Slaytreon as well. Thank you guys so much. I love you and may the odds be ever in your favor. Okay, Conda was really fun. I was completely unprepared for the first drop because I forgot that there was a twist in it and that just like absolutely took me by surprise. Um, the rest of the coaster though, it was pretty like calm, exciting. So like, the elements were large and you got like good floater on the airtime and then also the outer bank turn there. And the weird like non-inverting cobra roll also gave like a nice amount of like floater airtime as you whip over each section. But it was nothing like overly intense. I was expecting like the hills at the end, the airtime hills to really like pop you out of your seat in the way that two tatis does. But it doesn't. They just kind of don't really do anything. They're just kind of there. Fun, don't get me wrong, but it's not like, it's not like loaded with airtime. At least in the back. Maybe the front like hits them fast and you get pushed up into it. So we're gonna try that now. Overall, it's a super fun coaster. I would say it's a good like introductory coaster as well to getting into intense roller coasters. That this would be a great coaster for you. If you wanna try something that's a little bigger without getting completely overwhelmed by sheer amounts of airtime and other insane forces. Look at the Conda footprints in the concrete out here. That's a nice touch. All right, you ready for round two? Ready. Let's go. <laughs> Front row freak out. Here we go. Also look at the train. Look how cool that looks. I love the train design. Condolina time. Woo! Yeah, Woo! very steep. Wee! You happen to. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Here we go. Woo! Whoa! Oh, that hits much harder yeah. than front. I'm like, I love the drop in the back. Uh, the though. drop in the back is amazing. It was such a slay. But all of but the like, airtime hits so good in the front. That is true. Yeah. How did that feel for you guys? Let me know in the comments. Oh my goodness, the Conda plushies are so cute. It's really good looking. Yeah. I actually want one of these. It's a really good plush. Yeah, they are, and they feel nice. Is... I really want this, actually. It's oh, sick. I don't like that, but everything else. 
Oh, I love that. I think, oh, the, the feel feeling, of it. Oh, the feel. Mm-hmm. yeah, the it's feel is... feeling um, like you could file your nails off. Yeah, it is. <laughs> feeling years. sandpapery. Yeah. It's, it's really not bad. Yeah, it's not terrible for it. It's big and it's it's big of a plush. They have baby ones. Look at them. They're so cute. So cute. It could also be like a neck pillow on the airplane. Like this on the airplane. There you go. No one <laughs> Me trying to justify this expense. <laughs> Oh, this little statue is cute too. I love that. I actually love that a lot. Uh, want? That's on Condo Front Row. It was really fun. The drop was cool, like hanging off and looking down. And then the airtime really hit on like all the elements, except of course the cover roll. The cover roll doesn't really do a whole lot, but it's still just a fun way to navigate a roller coaster element. I think it's fun, but it just really doesn't provide much force at all. And then all the little airtime hills like popped you up a bit more in the front than you get in the back. So maybe um, it'll warm up throughout the day and it'll be hitting harder um, at the end of the day today because we rode it first thing and it's a chilly morning. So that could potentially be affecting our ride experience as well. But yeah, overall, super fun coaster. Or no, or dead goldfish, rest in peace. All right, now we're heading over to Tiki Waka. This coaster looks so silly. I can't wait to ride it. Tiki Slaya coming through. Look at her go. That looks very gentle. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hit single rider because this coaster is notorious for having a really long line. But we just wanna try to pop right on here. The line's not too bad, but we are definitely gonna get on much quicker with single rider than otherwise. <laughs> like we are right up to the station instead of having to wait through this, which is probably about a 20, 30 minute wait. The traffic light balls are funny. Oh wait, but <laughs> why did the lights go? They was not a dispatch. <laughs> Here they go. Oh, or not. <laughs> okay, now they go. Well, the lights are cute. They don't really signify anything, like but they're cute. They just do it. <laughs> Okay, I think this is the most spacious like wild mouse car I've ever sat in. There's so much leg room up here. Here we go. You guys ready? <laughs> here we go. Whoa! <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Okay, this is already really fun. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Woo! I love how the trains have spoilers on the back. That's so cute. <laughs> that coaster was super fun and cute and cute and fun. OMG. I really enjoyed it. I didn't get like a whole lot of airtime though. It was very, very mild amounts of airtime, but there was a lot of mild airtime. <laughs> um, I'm hoping that maybe it'll warm up later today and then those airtime hills will really like be hidden. It may also help if me, Jeff and Josh all ride together so the car's heavier and we're like kind of cruising through it a little faster. So we're definitely gonna ride it more, but I already really enjoyed that ride. It was super fun. Ooh, there's a thing. <laughs> That's fun. Does this do anything? It spins. What about these guys? Oh, these just spin too. Okay. Is is that a fish? That is a fish. I think it's stuck in shallow water. Oh no, he's stuck. I hope he gets out there. Or maybe he's just like feeding. Maybe he m means to be there. Looks like our next attraction is gonna be the challenge of Tutankhamen. <laughs> I guess the story is he tooted so much, half of his face fell off. Duh. That guy's a little creepy looking. I like how there's like a face like pressed into the concrete up there. Interesting how they split the line right here. So the groups of four all go in this line. And groups of one, two, or three go in this line. 
pew 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 So we have to shoot the lights, you guys. There's lights, and we have to shoot them. Jeff got 350, Josh got 227,000. The animatronics in that thing were really awesome. Some of them were really big. I really liked the B room, like when we were in there with uh, the flying things above us. Um, I don't know if you guys could see on the GoPro, you probably couldn't, but there was one room where there were like bees, like large flying insects above us and we had to shoot the lights on them. They also had fans in the room to blow air on us. That was a cool effect. Yeah, it was a really cool and fun like shooting dark ride. The shooting was a little interesting though, cause it's just like, you just like click and then like a, a red light appears wherever you were aiming. Um, so it was a little difficult to aim. And then um, sometimes the guns were getting a little wonky. Like there was one point where we were all like lighting up the targets, but none of the targets were registering any hits. So it was like, what's what's happening there? But overall it was really fun. For lunch, we're stopping at N Nisoso. I, I think that's how you say it. This place has a really nice like chicken, fried chicken basket. Oh, there, I just saw, I got distracted by a salad. <laughs> Those salads look good too. We're gonna get like the chicken tendy bucket. It's gonna be super yummy. 10 pieces. And it's okay. <laughs> like the bread is not crispy. Yeah. And the chicken is pretty dry. <laughs> well, the flavor is pretty good. I bet these probably sat out for a bit. So the breading has turned into like turned really moist. I bet if they're fresh, they're really, really good. I do however really like the fries. They're super good. Check out these sick Conda cups we got. I am super happy with this. That's awesome. I'm gonna take this home, which is cool. You have the option of taking it home or returning it and getting a Euro back. So that's pretty neat. Okay, lunch is pretty good. We're done now. We've got our cups. We're gonna go rinse them off. And then we're gonna go do Psyche Underground. The big blue tube thing that's sticking up over there. I have no idea what it is. I have no idea what this ride is. So this looks like it'll be silly. This looks certainly very interesting. <laughs> it's also called Psyche Underground, but it looks very much above ground. Did I call it Psyche? What did I call it? Did I call it oh, right name? I you call it Psyche? Yeah. Psyche it Underground. Like it also kind of just looks like a giant water slide that like you it does. And, like, just shoot down. Yeah. Oh, oh, I think I know what this is going to be you know? already. Oh, no. I think I may have figured it out. Yeah. Yep. An indoor water slide with a loop, a shuttle loop indoor water slide. <laughs> oh, just kidding. It's just a hotel. That's all it is, clearly. With very dark windows that you can't see through and a very flat facade. Hairstyles, wow. I could really use that. I need a barber so bad. <laughs> My hair is going crazy. <laughs> hair, Harry Styles, hair styles is here, no way. <laughs> Shake it. Club shake like, it. Club shake it off. Oh my god. Trailer. Tea swizzle. This is a recurring character we keep seeing around the park here. I'll start pointing him out. Five minutes till Psyche Underground. Okay, this lake though? <laughs> That's really pretty. We're going into the machine room. Here we go. Oh, there's a machine. Accidental limb elongation. Oh no hair problems. These symptoms occur after a high speed emergency acceleration. Facial twitchies, ooh woo. Um, and crossing the sound air, oh my God. You go that fast. Jesus Christ. The Psyche Underground's a little spooky looking. Look at those guys. This is the amazing Psyche Underground, more spooky guys. Those are super narrow. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Walk on moment, essentially. Oh, there they go. Good luck. Zoom. Good. 
Sick. That was my first Force Cop shuttle loop. Yay! Yay! Well, that was some. Whoa, gosh. Suddenly a flat surface when I'm going down. That was silly, goofy fun. I enjoyed that, and that was my very first Schwarzkopf shuttle loop coaster. So that's really iconic for me from playing Roller Coaster Tycoon and building them like crazy as a child. <laughs> so now I finally got to ride one. The first one, because um, Montezuma's Revenge at Knott's Berry Farm, um, I never really knew it existed the times I went and just completely missed it, never wrote it. When it was operating before, it got shut down to be redone for the new Montezuma's Revenge. Now we are going back around for a back row blowout. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a vibe in here. Vibe time. <laughs> now I can tell you. So this is the old catapult system of the Schwarzkopf shuttle loop before it was transformed to an LSM. Oh, so oh that's so cool. Old, like, yeah, now they use it as steaming. Nice, I like that. That's a good way to repurpose it. Yeah. Back row today out, Miss Mama, yes. <laughs> Okay, the back is where it's at. I actually really enjoyed the back. I got super discombobulated when we went backwards through the loop. Um, well, for one, we launched, went through the loop. It was really cool seeing the whole train like bend around the loop in there. Then we went up the tunnel and came back and then we went into the loop backwards. It was really cool seeing the train, but it just felt like the loop like, like extended longer. I got a little uh, disoriented there. And uh, when we were coming out of the loop, uh, I thought we were going up and I, my brain thought I was looking down at the loop like below me. It's so super trippy. And then I got readjusted as I went through the station. I was like, whoa, that was a wild experience. Hey yo, Polaris moment. I can't wait to ride Polaris here at Cedar Point. Uh, that's gonna be really fun. I like what they did with the new dragster here. <laughs> just kidding, it's called Pulsar. We're, we're gonna do Pulsar. I was just being a goofy. Oh, there's Condolina. Zooming through her anti-cobra roll. Oh, she's empty. Oh, that's interesting. Here's Pulsar. About to pulse it up out here. Zoom, 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 zoom. We got to ride in the back. So we get all the way up the spike. Swing launch, sleigh launch time. Crest over that little bit slightly. And where's the splash going? Oh my God. What? That splash was massive. That was such an aggressive splash. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap though. That just like really surprised me. I've never seen one of these splashes in person. I, oh, I haven't even really watched any videos of Aquaman either. Oh, yeah. So, oh, I have any idea. Too, because, like, you're, the pathway goes, like, right up to it. Oh, yeah, right there. Like, and look like, how wet this is yeah, from it's, like, literally the ride. Close. They had to build a barrier because the splash was, like, whacking people on Destroy people. people. <laughs> Hurting them? Well, look how like, how yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah it, it like, comes in with so much force. And the way that it hits the barrier, it makes such an aggressive sound. Yeah, it's crazy. Wild. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got to get to over Texas now for that. Okay, check out the station, though. It's pulsing. It did a moment ago. Oh, dang. <laughs> but here's the entry. Yay, pulsar time. This wraparound queue line is very intricately woven. Like it zigzags back in there, and then it goes in here and zigzags more. And then you go around the top of the station. You get a really cool view of the ride vehicle and the transfer track, how it spins around. Oh, it pulses as it dispatches. That's cool. How sick is this? Like what? Oh, look, there's more electricity flowing around. Here they come. Oh my gosh, they look soaked. Oh no, they're so wet. The back has some water on it, but hopefully not as bad as the front. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna get wet. It's just gonna happen. I'm worried about my shoes. They're gonna get wet a bit. Here we go. We're spinning. I'm ready. Ah. Woo! <laughs> 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 
so wet. I shouldn't have leaned forward. Yeah, I, I leaned forward to like try to protect and myself and you. yeah and now I'm just <laughs> sitting in water and my butt is soaked. I protected my shoes though. Yeah, I kept okay. nice. I kept my shoes down here because I don't have besties anymore. <laughs> yeah I'm no silly. <laughs> Vlog exception. <laughs> Pulsar was a major sleigh. Really glad to have gotten to ride one of these what are they called power waves? Is that the ride model? Yeah, cool. Power Power, power sleigh. That's what I'm calling it. Because that was a sleigh. And I am soaked. My butt is the wettest part of me, though. Like, literally, bro. It's super wet. <laughs> um, so, that was a sleigh. Love this type of ride. It's so fun. I would say this is my favorite, like, type of water ride, even. Because it's just so thrilling. The backwards airtime is incredible. Literally, Pantheon style backwards airtime on a water coaster ride thing like what and then a mega splashdown moment like oh my gosh i'm literally so wet back there like i think there's only one way i can dry off <laughs> <laughs> well i feel much better after that you look much better <laughs> thanks <laughs> look at the condo footprints in the concrete out here that's a nice touch look at that water <laughs> yes! Another double down? That looks sick! Cool! Alright, log flume time since we're already wet from Pulsar. We're going on it. Oh, there's an indoor drop too! Look at that! <laughs> on! Oh, they're trying to protect themselves. <laughs> oh, look at all the water coming under these us. Whoa! I'm really excited to ride this because um, I didn't get to ride the log flume at Wallaby Holland because I was feeling really, really tired and was super dead that day, so I went and took a nap in the car and missed out on that. So I'm really glad to get to ride it now. The reason I'm glad to ride this one here is because it's the same layout as the one in Walby Holland, which I had missed. So, mega slow moment. Where, where are we going? <laughs> this queue line is bonkers. Oh, here we go. Okay, cool. I think I smell a walk-on moment incoming. <laughs> here we go, walk-on moment. <laughs> here we go. We've got a warning. Uh-oh. This can only spell disaster. We Okay, this tunnel is slaying. Look at these lights. Ooh, and more fun lighting. Wow, that looks really cool. Lighting up the, the log. Yeah, really cool. Yay, backwards drop. Let's go. I'm so excited. Here we go. I got a little wet from that one. Not too bad though. Thankfully, going backwards on a log flume is so much more fun than going forwards. Yeah. Woo! That was really scary. I'm gonna just lay down real quick. <laughs> Taking a break. Look at the condo footprints in the concrete out here. That's a nice touch. This is about to go so slay. <gasps> a crow. Hello. Hi up there. Goodbye. No jumping jacks in the log flume. Here we go. Okay, that, that wasn't bad. Oh, that was good, that was good. okay, good, yeah. yeah Misting. Mostly missed. Yeah, <laughs> mostly missed, lol. <laughs> like, missed and uh. missed. <laughs> that was a really great log flume, and we really didn't get much wet on it. It was just kind of like a light misting from the drop. The double down was so sick. The airtime on that second drop, so much fun. And then I loved going backwards on it. That was cool. And yeah, no, my shoes. The, uh, oh, opening. Like the yeah. beginning of it was really cool for, uh, it gave me like speed of sound, but it did. the log flume version. Yeah, it really did. <laughs> I agree. The lights were awesome and they looked really cool reflecting off of the yellow logs. And now we're going to do Dalton Terror. Yeah, Dalton Terror. The strangest name for a drop tower ever. <laughs> Here they go. 
Look, there's our oh recurring friend, the recurring character. I need to know the story. Ice cream ice guy. Cream. Here we go, Dalton Terror. Is this cute? We get our own little like pig pens out here that we can stand in while we wait to go on the ride. Here we go. Oh, Hi, Conda. Miss Honda Conda over there. Condalicious. Condalicious. Yes. I wish she was running so I could focus. Oh my on gosh! Something. Yeah. I wish she was running too. I hate drop towers. <laughs> here we go. Woo! 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 That was a pretty gentle drop tower. Yeah, I liked it though. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I came down and just suddenly there were hands. I don't know why they say Dalton Terror because he wasn't that scary. It was kind of calm. It's kind of chill. And up next is Calamity Mine. Let's go. <laughs> Stomping and clomping. Stomping her way through the <laughs> <laughs> This is my shaft. Mine. Shaft. Get it? It's mine. Oh, we have some spraying going on. Wait, this mine train is kind of giving the mine train from Desert Dunes like level on Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Yo, this layout looks awesome. This is so cool with all the rocks and the theming. This looks great. Oh yeah, that back row right there. Oh yeah, let's go. Whee! Oh, walk on moment, literally on the train. Here we go, Calamity Mine. Calamity. Are we gonna see a bunch of clams in the Calamity Mine? The calamity mine. Calamity, calamity or? Ah! Oh, we got a major helix moment coming up. Here we go. Whoa! 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 Fun and cute and cute and fun. Loud environment. Oh no. Let me just turn this off for today. Thank you. Yo, no way. Let's play like like paint or something. Windows Vista? Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> someone just disconnected it. Darn it. I wanted to draw pretty pictures in Microsoft Paint. Oops, LL, I think I just realized that I oh, forgot so to do the whole like screen recording, checking off my coaster credits and log ride for like the past two days. So, well, we're starting it again now. My goodness, it's so cute. I actually want one of those. Oh, that one's so cute. The rainbow sheen. Yeah. Too bad it's like girls cut. Uh... So is this one. Looks... Is this girls cut too? I think this is unisex. Okay, yeah. That's cute. I like that one. No way, it's a sign. <laughs> Rainbow school. This is uh, what the inside of every gay person's head looks like. Let's take a look at the top spin. Here we go, top spin time. Buzzsaw. Top spin time, woo! Slows itself down a lot. Whoa! Woo! Ragdoll! 
<laughs> was that it? Um, okay. <laughs> that was kind of lame. Well, that was a calm topspin. That was almost as boring as the one in Lagoon. Because <laughs> Lagoon like, um, doesn't do anything. Talikin or Bussam? Um, it's a really tough choice. <laughs> <laughs> so, that ride we saw earlier is running, and this is their new ride for this year. And, like, I think it just opened. Like, they're still working on the queue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he just turned people away. It's not open yet. We're watching it, like, test, I guess. Look at the Conda footprints in the concrete out here. That's a nice touch. Open? Oh, it is open. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, cool. First the day, first yeah. day! <laughs> Confirmed! Awesome, <laughs> thank you! <laughs> That's amazing! We're literally here on the day the new ride opens. What? Yeah, like, look. <laughs> They're still putting the finishing touches on. This looks great, though. Yeah. Look at this. This is so nice. Um, so there's this here? Which is like, why? Why does this need to be here? And also, look at this. Is this how we control it? Oh, we can do smoke or we can do sound. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's so fun. I think this you pull to make your, your car swing out too. We're starting. Here we go. Let's go. Smoke sound up together. Same time. Woo! And then, when can we use this? When can we use the stick? Oh, we're picking up speed now. Oh! Go. It's engaged. <laughs> and then down. <laughs> Whee! That's fun. I like how they, you can interact with it. Whoa, it changes colors? Smoke. Smoke. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh, I've got red. My thing's on red now. I don't know what that means. This is so silly. <laughs> Well, that was fun and cute and cute and fun. I'm super glad we were here today on the day it opened. The new ride, new for 2023, that's so funny. <gasps> there he is again. Loop Guru slash werewolf. Look at him, he's ready to get us. Five minute wait, the station is lay empty. It's got one of these waters from a vending machine. Spa touch. <laughs> Raspberry apple. It was like, yeah. Like a right. hint of a like hint of a flavor. They traveled with a raspberry on the truck. In the proximity of the water nearby. <laughs> they literally. wafted the scent yeah. of raspberry into the water. I love tap water. <laughs> and then I got one of these Oasis girls. Met brown water. Yum. Tropical Oasis awaits me. Ow. Ow. Ugh. I got it. I was like really hard to open while also trying to vlog at the same time. Ooh, I like this. This is really yummy. And you already know we had to do a back row blow up. And Joshy took a front row freak out. So we have a simultaneous Does that mean we front row freak out and a back row blow out. We are. We're taking a <laughs> screenshot of the ride. <laughs> Here we go. Loop-a-roo. Here we go! It was. 
bad. RMC it. Yeah. <laughs> Tear it down. I'm kidding. <laughs> that was terrible in the back. We're gonna try the front now. Um, just to see how it is because the back was way too silly. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I've stated it yet, but the ops here are really good. Like this place is dead and they have two trains on here. Which is incredible. And then it was like Condo was flying, um, Tiki Walker constantly had yeah. trains flying out. Like even all stars off with one train, like they were moving yeah. really quickly to make sure like it would go quickly. They were, it was yeah. super good. Like everyone's been really on point here. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> I hate this ride. I actually hate this okay. ride. Like, name another ride that like actually gives you leg pain from like. <laughs> yeah, from this. Look how sharp this like, is too. Literally the entire ride, my legs are just going like. This. Yeah, like, and there's look at this sharp like metal yeah. box right here. I was scraping against. This ride is actually. <laughs> okay, I hate that ride. I actually don't like it. The the airtime was much better in the front though. Like the airtime hills were giving. But, oh my god, the turns are so bad. That final helix, horrible. It's really brutal. Um, this needs to be RMC'd, like, immediately or something. That was wild. We did also ride on wheel seats each time. That could be a part of it. But it's still really bad. Ew, mud. Wanna be bitching? Oh my gosh, there he is again. He's following us around everywhere. Hey, guys. See you later. Here's my car. Here we go. Whee! This is such a funny car ride because you don't even drive it. Like, there's no way to steer. Let's spin this fast as we can. <laughs> oh, I've got a red light. I better give it full throttle. Oh, hello? Oh, there we go. Whee! So good driving. I don't even need to interact with the vehicle. The steering wheel's still going. Still spinning from when I spun it last. Look at the ruts in the literal concrete from the car tires. There's ruts in here. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, it's got some vibey music going. I'm gonna just uh, take it easy while we drive around here. Oh my gosh, I'm catching up to them. I'm gonna crash into them. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna crash into them. Hi, there's Josh. Here we go. <laughs> go, 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 come on, hit him, hit him. Oh, it didn't, oh, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Dang it. Oh, so close. We almost crashed. That was the super silly. I just recorded my last clip in slow-mo, so I have to re-say what I just said. That was a super silly ride because uh, we couldn't control the antique cars whatsoever, and they had us almost crashing the entire time. I was really hoping for a wreck, but it didn't happen. Here we go, SLC time. It's called Vampire. This entry looks actually really sick. This bridge is dope. And the color scheme is great too. It's like very much giving Halloween with the orange and black. I'm, I'm vibing it so far. What are those things in the, in the water? Oh, they're soccer balls. That's so funny. 
<laughs> Excuse me, my American terminology coming through here. Footballs. Woo! What a beautiful area. Wow, okay. I love all the trees around it too. This is very much giving vampire and I'm loving it actually. Look at this. This is super spooky. I'm really digging this. Colors. Look at these pine trees, the colors, everything. They should be playing like ominous music back here though. That's what they should be doing. But yeah, it is very house chill. Agreed. Perfect weather for this spooky ride too. It's raining again. Little gargoyles up there, cute. Look, we have a whole castle, like a station. This is quite cool. Here we go. Okay, sick station. Oh, hi. Woo! <laughs> okay, the train colors are not giving vampire at all. They should have been all black. Like, completely blacked out train would have been sick. Oh, the track color is not orange. It's red. <laughs> I, mean, I thought it was orange outside. PP rock, PP rock, PP rock, PP rock. Here we go. Rain ride on an SLC. Yar. Gonna be Goofy Girl, or it could be Slay Girl. We're about to find out. Here we go. Do a little bumpy down there. Oh, this is nice. I approve. That was a SL Slay. Okay, Vampire was an SL Slay. I'm impressed. It was pretty smooth. There were a couple moments like on the drop that were a little funky and then like after the uh, barrel rolls on that turnaround, but that was about it. Other than that, it was a pretty smooth ride. So I enjoyed that. It was great. One of the best SLCs of the trip, I think. Like the setting was super fun, flying through all the trees and everything. That was great. I felt like a vampire. Okay, wow, well, check this out. They've got like smoked brats. Oh, actually, I kind of want one. <laughs> Here we go, boomerang moment. We're riding Cobra. Boomerang time. Woo! Oh, God, my eyes. Smooth, honestly. Oh, what was that? Uh, ah, yeah. Well, okay, not terrible. Oh, oh. Wow, I, that was better than I expected. Well, it was a little bad. I'll, I'll take back what I just said about it not being bad at all because. Going backwards on the loop, in between the loop and the cobra roll right here, I felt like my brainstem was like getting squished or my brain was just gonna like break off from my brainstem. Um, that part was a little bad. But now we're gonna go on popcorn revenge, whatever that is. <laughs> oh no, not the Henry Popper. Oh man. Have a corn. That's funny. That's a little corny. Oh my God, bro. Oh hell no, man. What the fuck? The corn of the rings. Yes. So it's a shooting dark ride, and we have to flavor the popcorn with our flavor guns. Popcorn time. Okay. What is this? Oh, we just go to different screens. <laughs> I really like that one. The aiming was weird, the gun was strange, my hand got like really tired using it, but it was, I mean, it was okay. That's it. Look at this different goose, it's got a white face. Is that just like a baby? I feel like that's a different species, I don't know. I feel like I've never seen a goose like that before. They really want your damn Oh yeah, they're coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> the geese whisperer. Come with me, my children. Yes. <laughs> Come with us, 
follow us. Kitty coaster. Man, the playgrounds in Europe consistently go so hard. Here we go, fun pilot. Rain ride on fun pilot. More like wet pilot. A two lap special. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I actually like this ride. Look at the Honda footprints in the concrete out here. That's an. Ah, I'm tired. Tiki waka, tiki waka, tiki waka. Wow. Okay. Walk on moment. There you go. Bye! See if they're looking. No, they waved at me before. <laughs> Tiki walk around. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, that's fun. Nice little drop in the back. Tiki went a slightly harder just now, but still not like where I want it to be. <laughs> I suppose like we got a little more air time on like the first half, but not that big of a difference. I feel like my hair is really giving like Velociraptor hair right now. It's like. We love the little thin art in the line for Conda. That's super cute. What we don't love though is one train ops. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? It's on one train ops right now. The sussy baka with the heart under the emogas. Oh no, he wasn't subscribed. Also, all, every character has a penis like uh, etched into the wall for the. I'm dead. Intimate going full Schwarzkopf here with the chain lift into the station moment. <laughs> Unhinged in this morning. Excuse me. <laughs> Warms up a low level today. It does. Look at the Conda footprints in the concrete out here. That's a nice touch. Wow, that ride was an entirely different ride than we rode this morning. Holy crap. So we're going to go back and ride in the back seat now. That's so funny because we were just going to be like, oh, we're just going to ride this and be done. But that just hit so entirely differently than this morning. We got to go one more time. Go back row on a warm Conda. <laughs> Condo it was so much fun, and shout out to Chris for joining me. Hey, nice yeah. to meet you, dude. I'm uh, from Coast of Thrills. Um, yes, on Instagram. Well, now, ridiculous right in the back. So row, much fun. The drop, it's amazing. So you good, go dude. Literally, the, like, the turn of the drop just like, pulls you out so hard. Pulls you out so hard. <laughs> the forces on that are ridiculous. Really. So much fun, dude. Thanks for, for riding with me, man. Hey. Boom.
Take well, care. It's amazing. Bye, Conda. Also, it's like actually raining, like really, really raining, right? Look at the Conda footprints in the concrete out here. That's a nice touch. You know? It's like chucking it down. It's chucking it down. <laughs> Fucking it down right now, as our friends in the UK would say. But yeah, kind of the back row was really fun and definitely hit harder now than it did in the morning. But I'm still a front row girly because, oh my gosh, the airtime in the front is just madness. Like you're literally just rocketed over all of the elements and it's so fun. The end of the little airtime hills in the front really feel like almost two Tatis, maybe more like Pantheon level like airtime pops. It was better um, than Pantheon, but not as Pantheon. good as two Tatis. Yeah, I would say that. It was like full on trying to like destroy you, yeah. like but rip your upper body in half really off. Good at the end of the day. Like, this morning <laughs> yeah. I was like, what was that? I was like, uh-huh. Like it was kind of like an extreme family coaster this yeah. morning, but now it was like, okay, this is actually more of a thrill yeah. right now. It's like, oh my gosh, the outer bank in the front hits oh so gosh, well too. So good. So fun. I usually don't like the outer bank elements, to be honest. Like on Pantheon, it's kind of like, okay. But on this <laughs> one, I, it works. It's really yeah, good. You're launched. It's like so I love the outer bank one. The drunkenness of it. Yeah, absolutely. Once it's warm, it's like ready to freaking go. Also, there's our friend again, or maybe enemy. <laughs> I'm leaning more towards enemy. But anyway, that right on, I almost said Kona. That's that's Kona. my car. <laughs> our last ride on Conda is also our last ride in the park today. That includes our day here at Wallaby, Belgium. We had a super fun day today. We were a little interested in like walking in. We're like, okay, we're getting some Six Flags vibes, but the newer areas are amazing. And you can tell the park is moving away from the old like Six Flags influence that it once had. One thing though that we both agree on that could use some improvement is Loop Guru. Ooh, she's not it. She is not it. She needs an RMC treatment or a retract something because that was a little goofy. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> and not a good type of goofy. Yeah. I really, um, really like don't find anything good with the ride, but that one just <laughs> did not have anything redeeming about it. I mean, it had some airtime. That's the only thing it's like a dig to get there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a full dig because I still, even with the airtime, usually I'm like, okay, it's got some airtime, I can deal with this. This one, no. This was like I a, don't even want to deal with it. No, it's like a car yeah. crash to get to the airtime. It really is. It. And then it's, it's just sandwiched by more car crashing. You know, it's like car crash, car crash, car crash. Okay, you got a little airtime. Car crash, car crash, car crash, constantly. Oh so yeah, we're rolling out now. And crazy to think about it, Jeff just mentioned this in his vlog, that we now only have two parks left, maybe three, depending on if Ryan Air Gets works <laughs> yeah <laughs> they were not kind to us two weeks ago they were right? not we missed out so. on like some time at absolutely because of them but oh well and if they are able to get their <laughs> shit together then we will be going to chesterton world of adventures on next monday yeah, yeah no, monday no, that's not right friday saturday friday what? friday friday, friday. Friday. Today's Monday. Today's Monday. We're gonna Friday. Can you tell we've been in a music for the last like two and a half weeks? Bye, Wallaby Slagium. Um, so there's a fair super close to our hotel. There could be a credit there. There could be oh a credit. Oh my god, look at it. Look at it's so pretty looking and so fun and enticing. Let's throw away our few hours of potential chill time for <laughs> to go to a fair. <laughs> okay, so like this is our hotel and it's adorable. Look at that inside there. It looks so nice. Wow, what? This is a two-star hotel. Like, a two-star hotel in Europe is so nice. I wonder what a four-star hotel must be like. Room reveal. Oh, look, and we actually have bunk beds. Cute. Look at this place. Wow. And a two-star hotel in the US, you, you're like, you feel like you're just gonna get shot and murdered or something. <laughs> and this is just like, this so nice. Summer. Bathroom moment. There we go. Oh, yeah, wow, nice. look at this. A little bit bigger. Oh my god, the shower head. <gasps> and there's just, there's two. Oh my god. Whoa. What a hair dryer. Yay. Here. Yes. It's my hair. Going absolutely feral on our little pizza party. <laughs> Look at the Conda footprints in the concrete out here. That's a nice touch. <laughs>